Personal diplomacy is purely personal. It only involves the two state leaders without involving any kind of formal institution or officials, such as diplomats and ambassadors. How personal diplomacy is conducted and it's is, it is resulted depend on each personality of the two state leaders. Topic of the conversation is usually about national interest or other things related to issues of the state they are representing. However, state leaders can also engage in an informal, much more relaxed environment. Interaction happens between the two leaders. There may symbolize friendship between the two countries, hence a form of diplomacy. Personal diplomacy means being polite and respectful, yet still assertive on your manner, and can be considered the art of getting what you want in a manner which benefits others as well as yourself. In short, it is the ability to compromise effectively and allow your negotiating partner to, to leave the negotiation with the sense of having achieved something while still getting what you want through a willingness to be open, engaging and ready to offer something in return that fair and useful to the other party, practicing personal diplomacy is the quickest way to learn to be charming. The President or Head of the State travel to countries to negotiate personally with the head of the state or the president of other countries. This type of diplomacy may have harmful effect on weak leaders because they can be easily manipulated. A summit meeting is a meeting of heads of state or government. Usually with considerable media exposure, tight security, and a pre-arranged agenda. Summit meetings include those of Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin during World War II. However, the term summit was not commonly used for such meetings until the Geneva Summit in 1955. During the Cold War, when American presidents joined with Soviet or Chinese counterparts for one-on-one -on -one meetings, the media labeled the events as a summit. Summit di diplomacy is when the parties agrees to come to meet and discuss an issue at a particular place. The effort is usually arranged around a specific issue that all parties want to reach an agreement on treaty trade deal as opposed to regular diplomatic stuff. There is a normally a formal agenda and a fixed time period, all of which is intended to help focus the attendees on moving toward the goal.